this is the helpful lock picker here, and the video I have for you today is the first installment of my lock picking homeschool series. This series is going to help you learn how to pick your first pen tumbler lock. This video series is going to focus primarily on pen tumbler locks because those are the most common locks that you can find today. Um, the locks I have in front of you um, consist of my progressive lock list that gives you a, an idea where you would start from easiest to hardest, and you can see it going across here and ending here at this Abus Titanium. One of the quintessential beginner locks is a clear acrylic padlock. You can see exactly what's going on inside and it's a great visual aid for you to help conceptualize what's happening. Another great choice is a cutaway lock. It's very similar except it is a real lock that's been cut away instead of a plastic see-through. These locks do provide better feedback and are a little bit more realistic. So, now that you have made it here, I'm interested to hear what's your story. Why are you interested in picking? How did you end up here today? Um, if you'd like to leave a little note on the bottom in the comment sections on how you ended up here today, I'd be very interested to hear about it. Now what I'd like to do is show you this clear acrylic lock being picked in action, and I'll have a close-up view. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to ex explain what's going on. I just would like you to pay close attention to what's happening in the pens here. And we'll go into further detail down the road. I'm going to get this loaded up in the vise, and we will get it picked in just a moment. Now that we got the lock in the vise, let's see what it takes to get it open. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five, a little click on six, nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, click out of four, and the lock is open. And now you can see that these are the driver pins on top are now separated from the key pins on the bottom. The part moving here is the plug, it has nothing obstructing it, and it was able to turn open. We'll get into more detail on how lock picking works in future episodes. So what you just saw on the clear acrylic lock is how to open a lock by manipulating its pens. You are able to open this lock without the key, and this is how lock picking works. The lock I have in front of us right now is a very common residential lock. This is a deadbolt lock. It is Defiant brand, but this is a quick set lock with the KW1 keyway. This is an excellent lock for those starting out. It is very easy to take apart in progressive pen. You can start with two pens and work your way up to five as you progress. And also it has a very open keyway so you can navigate the pens very easily without having too much trouble with the warding, which is the sidings on the lock. I'm going to pick this lock open for you right now by single pin picking. I'm going to insert my tension wrench and see what it takes to get inside it. I'm going to start with pin 1. Nothing on 1, nothing on 2. A little click off 3. A little click off 4. A little click off 5. A little click off 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. click on to open this up. So we will get into more detail in future videos on how single pin picking works and other various techniques. With lock picking, single pin picking is the most reliable method and can open up almost any pin tumbler locks, but there are some lower skill methods that are very effective such as raking, rocking, zipping, lock bumping. There's a lot of bypass methods. There's a tremendous amount of ways that you can get locks open very reliably. What you just saw was a quick set lock, the KW1 keyway. This is the most common lock and many of these locks are what you can find residentially. These are 
pretty much the quintessential lock sold at Home Depot for home security needs. Another very popular brand is Schleg Lock, which are very good locks. They're built a little bit stronger, but they don't pick tremendously harder. Um, a lot of what manufacturers are doing now is they're starting to add a few security pins. This lock did not have any in them, and we'll get to those in future videos. I'd like to thank you guys for checking this out. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see to help you learn how to pick locks, please leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to follow along with me and keep on learning, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for checking this out, and as always, I hope you have a great day, and thank you.